Richard, if you want to sweat your own pipes, you're going to need some sort of a blowtorch, and people are wondering what should they be looking for at the home center. Well, I thought we would start with just a little bit of a history lesson, okay. then we go over some of the choices nowadays. This would have been the torch that my grandfather would have used. No way. Now, it would have, you would have pumped up alcohol or kerosene and then lit it with a match, and it would have been this lazy flame, because back then we weren't soldering copper pipes. We were actually just shaping soft lead, uh, and we didn't want it to be too hot of a flame. Did you just call your grandfather lazy? No, he was anything but lazy. <laughs> So then the pros through the years have used this is acetylene and this is a propane t torch right here. Yeah. But this is for the pros. Homeowners nowadays will go to the home center. They want to get into the ability to solder a copper pipe and they might buy the basic kit. So the basic kit includes a torch tip, very simple, uh, a little bit of solder, some flux, the brush, a little cleaning cloth. Right. And there's your basic kit. To light that uh, torch tip, you turn it on slightly and they sell these strikers with a little bit of a flint right here. Right. Okay. So Not this is manual easy. light right. or lighter. Right. But if you look right here, you can see it's, a, it's called a pencil tip. See how fine that, that flame is? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's very focused. So on smaller fittings, it'll work great. But as you get into bigger ones, it's harder and harder to get a good a solder connection. Okay. One of the great inventions, I'll just leave this on for a minute. One of the great inventions is right here. Look at that. So that's the automatic light. That's right. Okay. You're so never going to be looking for right. one of these. Correct. This is only about a $10 difference at this point between these two torch tips. It's, nice it's, it's really worth it. Right. right. So both of these are burning um, propane gas, the yes. blue canister. The pros, when they get into bigger size and they want uh, much more heat, they'll use the yellow gas, which is called MAP gas. It's hotter. Okay. It's more expensive, about 15% hotter flame. Oh. And then they'll also use a tip like this. Look at the difference in this tip versus this pencil. Wow. See the difference? This is like a jet engine. That's right. Okay. But you also, on smaller fittings, it can actually be too hot. Okay. Let me show you what I mean. So if we're doing a solder connection over here, you're going to apply a little bit of flux. All right. We've already cleaned these yeah, with the emery cleaned. cloth. Yep. Okay. That's been cleaned. Okay. I'll just do one so you can see it here. So now, the, the key is to apply the smallest bit of that tip, the hottest part of the flame is right at the tip of that flame yep. to this side of a fitting, or to this side of fitting, and then you want to wait until that the flux bubbles completely from the other side, and then the key is to apply the solder not to the side where the flame is, to this side. Yes. So okay? there's the bubbling happening now see, right now. And it, if you do it right, it'll draw right around. You see how it's going to draw? It's brilliant. Okay? It's like and then get the flame it. away. Get the flame away, okay? Now, the difference is, if I now did this with too hot of a flame, it would actually get so hot that all of the solder could drip right out of the fitting. Right. You with me? So too, too hot is not good either. Yes. Okay? So we need to be using the right tools, the right gas, right. and also working with the right That's technique. Right. For basic half-inch copper pipes, these tips are fine, but as you get into bigger ones, you want to get a little more power. That is a beautiful the other lesson. thing is that the, the melting point of the new lead-free solders is hotter too, so you need the hot flame. Good. All right. Great information, Richard. Right. Thank you.